Hi guys and welcome back to DIY Agri. I'm an animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So I want to ask the question, what's the point? Yes, if you say you have the, the biggest broilers on earth, what's the point if you don't have good sales? What's the point if you say you use the best feed? What's the point if you say you, you raise Haboy cow, or you raise Cor 500 or you raise Masha or you even raise the Hubert? What's the point? If you say that your poultry farm is automated, what's the point if you say you use automatic feeders or drinkers? What's the point if you don't have sales? I think sales is the most important thing when you are talking about broiler farming. So I went on Facebook and I... I tried to hear from people and I asked them the question, what's your biggest challenge as a broiler farmer? apart from the fee prices what's your biggest challenge and people started to say okay a few persons say crd disease management brooding but a lot of them like 80 over 80 percent said market marketing and that's true market is the biggest deal is the biggest deal if you don't have the right market for your product then what are you doing are you playing are you doing are you conducting research no if you don't have the right market for your broilers whether you are raising 50 whether you're raising 100 whether you're raising thousands if you don't have the right market then what why are you in poultry did you leave other things to come and do poultry just to be eating your birds by yourself no that shouldn't be so today i just want to shed some light on the area of marketing and i hope it's going to help you if you are new to this channel please i would like you to subscribe to the channel because there's a lot and a lot that you are going to benefit from this channel already have made uh, several videos uh, that you can benefit from and you don't also know what is coming next every time i try to uh, from the passion that bonds within i try to bring out contents that will help poultry farmers to succeed i'm your poultry success partner and i'm here to help you so you want to subscribe and also hit the notification bell uh, and if you're already enjoying this video you can click the like button so i have a, a list here that i'll have i would like to share the tips the things that can help you in marketing your brother because people actually don't have market because they don't do it right they don't they don't know how they don't know the way to get the market for their product so i have about uh, eight things on the list here that i would like to share and you want to listen to every bit of it because all these things are things that i've had to learn over the years and you want to like take advantage of that experience that i have you want to make sure that you use that information this information here for your own good so that you can stand out in the business as a broiler farmer or as a poultry farmer generally <clears throat> so number one is that you target a market that is larger than your your supply yes people fail when they start to believe on just one source as their market when you start to believe because somebody says okay i will need so so no number of broilers i so so this and you oh i've had market somebody said they will buy no make sure that you target a market that is larger than the supply that you can make am i talking to someone don't rely on just one customer don't rely on just one client to come and clear your farm come on except you are in, you have been into business with this person for a long time you can't just rely on one person that promises the word of mouth <laughs> in this age and you want to sit down on that and buy all those expensive feed and in the end you rely on so it's just somebody to come what if it doesn't come through you want to hit your birds no so you target more than one customer for example if you have 50 birds or let's say 200 or 300 you target a market that is able to buy 1500 so that at least if some of them is if some of them will fail you will still be able to put out your 300 birds i'm not saying you should promise them that you have 1500 birds why you have 300 no but target enough clients that can buy more than you have you speak to this you speak to that probably this one says it's going to buy 200 and you have 300 speak to 10 more people make sure that you have more market than your supply that's one way to succeed in marketing and number two is <laughs> don't forget that you will compete it's a competition out there a lot of people you know especially after the lockdown a lot of people's eyes were open like they started poultry 
I'm a consultant and I know it. the number of persons that are calling me every day asking me for help here and there. A lot of people don't even know jack about poultry but they are in it already and they want to make it. All these people too will want to sell so you need to, to, to plan ahead. Know that you are a competitor in this business and there's something that your customer will see in you that others don't have that will make them choose you. So find that thing. Find that marketing strategy that will make you stand out. You get find out is it that you are processing your own birds is it that you deliver your own birds is it that you accept payment on delivery mind you be careful with issue of payments but there must be something that your customers will see people don't people are not mindfully involved a lot of people are not mindfully involved in selling their chickens. They just believe, okay, I want to have chickens, and they will sell, okay, they're going to be six weeks, they're going to be eight weeks next week, and they're going to sell. No, you have to be mindfully involved. It's a game. You have to be the best at it. So you are informed that you will compete in the business of selling your brother. So you really need to be doing your best as a competitor. Offer a value that others are not offering around you at least then another thing number three is bulk sales bulk sales bulk sales sometimes you might even be able to sell all your best for example let's say you have 300 and somebody comes in to buy 50 50 every week to say from the same batch he buys 50 this week you buy 50 next week 300 that's six weeks that means your brothers are going to stay for extra six weeks Mind you, the money you collect from the first sales, you will almost spend it on the second, on the best for, for the second week, and just like that, you keep spending the money. But when you sell all these bets once, even if they go out at a lesser rate, it's still better for your business. So boxes, box sales is always better. Box sales is always better. Trust me, box sales is always better. And then use social media maybe a lot of us have to go for digital marketing training thank god i went for one and i've not even been able to use all the knowledge that i got from that program you need to know how to use your social media platforms yes the, there's a lot of power in your in your gadget in your phone in your smartphone there's a lot of power that you can put to use in that smartphone in that iphone a lot of us are using iphone 8 iphone 7 google pixel 3 xl like i am using and you know if you don't use the full potential of these gadgets engage the social media build a brand around your product build a brand let people get to know you post pictures let them know that this is what you're doing don't just come out on the day you want to sell your best post the progress people love progress they, they love to go with you along the line if you're posting the pictures of your progress alone maybe your best are one week there are two weeks people following alone can just have the right market for you or they probably they need uh, the things that you're already um, advertising so you need to post the progress you need to engage the social media go for training if you really need to do it go for it they you know in your environment for example you may you may be open to let's say 50 customers but out there in the social media tons millions of customers are there to buy your product so why are you restricting yourself to that um, little environment to that your corner okay if you are already liking this I would like you to click the like button click the subscribe button now if you are watching this channel for the first time or if you have not subscribed before click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell to get um, notification for new videos that I drop I'm always dropping great content so um, number five now is you advertise early it's similar to what i said earlier about using socials but more than that you need to advertise your product early i tell you as you're thinking that okay i'll be selling these beds in the next two three weeks or even four weeks somebody your buyer is also thinking of buying birds in the next three weeks or four weeks so if you advertise early the earlier the better he can plan and put you into his schedule you can begin to talk about price pricing you can begin to talk about the location he's already used to you can send him pictures he's already people love visuals nowadays so you can send him pictures let him see what he's about to buy and he's already glued to you don't forget it is glued to you send visuals ensure that you engage your customers time before they are even ready to buy 
so that's one way that you can also nail it advertise and you don't wait until you have just two days you are not look, you are not looking for a, 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 a magic magical market no 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 advertise early in fact from the moment you bring in your chicks like what i said about socials if you engage socials by the time you start posting pictures of your day old pets the number that they have you have 300 you have 400 people are already knowing and i tell you it's about knowing people that know you will buy from you people just want to engage and buy that's the process you engage then you buy you don't just come and buy you engage and then you buy and one more thing as you're using socials and you're also advertising heli one thing you need to do is to be creative get creative there are a lot of people who are trying to use the social media nowadays they just come blah, 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 post some pictures that are not well taken they just post any kind of picture you don't select pictures no you do your things right you get creative that's when you know you are competing with others so you post the best pictures you can take get a good camera to take the pictures every detail matters so you make sure that you do everything right uh, in the in that stage so you advertise early and then one option that some people don't know some people are not aware of is processing plants you need to find out what processing plant is around you i mean broiler processing plant those are that slaughter thousands of um, broilers a day so you can consider that as an option it can be your final result your last result if you don't have a better offer because most times processing plants don't give the best pay but then you should still be able to gain something from the business so if you find out a processing plant around you that you can work with and then um, market your product to them consider the cost of production and what they are offering if it if it works you're fine so processing plant is one of the options you want to consider don't just look out for final or hand consumers that want to buy and eat no you should also consider processing plants and then middlemen or middlemen or brokers yeah they are middlemen some people who have access who have connections to people that buy who have connections to processing plants who have connections here and they look for some in your area look for somebody that is honest that is loyal and will get you the best deal it's important somebody that is after your success just like i'm doing for you i'm helping you to succeed in poultry farming somebody that is also after your success and you will get if you find so try and get somebody like that that you can trust to get the best deals for you so because there are a lot of persons who are just after their own belly out there but try and that's why it doesn't just happen in a day everything doesn't happen in a day you get to mature in the business you mature in the business your contact your store of contacts uh, your connections increase as you stay longer and longer in the business so and one very important aspect which is the eighth point that I'll be saying in this video I want to try and make everything snappy the last one I'll be talking about in this video is to cut costs as simple as this may be as yeah this may not sound as the it may not sound like the most intuitive or the most uh, ingenious innovative idea on the list but then it's almost the most important yes because you know i've mentioned there's competition you have to compete um you have to um you have to target a market this and that you have to do box sales and all that but this will have actually affect most of your decisions if you cut costs if you're able to cut costs then you'll be able to sell at a very competitive price if you're able to sell at a competitive price you are a good competitor somebody a client a customer would love to buy from you instead of mr b so if you're able to cut costs from day one when somebody else is using uh 10 cylinders of gas you minimize your own spending you know how you cover the house well enough and just provide little ventilation from um the top so that the the whole place is heated up in just with just the least possible heat source that you can provide and all that you know the kind of material you use to cover the house when you are building you don't use the material that will leak out all the air just some things just think innovatively the kind of feed some areas you can also cut costs if you use organic medications you use um you formulate your own feed every 
area that you can cut cost the cost of transporting your um your your feed you can buy in bulk don't be buying one one bag buy in bulk those areas that you are cutting costs get your wood shavings where when people are not rushing for it when the price is not high get it down so pile it up stock it make sure they are dry and well fumigated all those things it's just all about planning cut cost as much as you can so that you can sell at a very competitive price sell at a price that your customers cannot resist for example somebody else is selling one uh, um, at 900 naira per per kg and you are selling for 820 per kg tell me who will go for 900 instead of 820 no one all things being equal the customers will come to you so try as much as possible to cut cost as much as possible try to cut cost and also you can you can just reach out to me um, occasionally I help people to sell their birds uh, I might have because I have contacts all over Nigeria you know from this state that state just you can just reach out to me you see my contact in the description below so you can just reach out and say you have so 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 this probably if I help you put it on my platform and you might just get the right buyer for your chickens so it's very important all this list everything on the list is very important this and more you need to do in order to ensure that you do your marketing right so that you can sell what you have raised because what's the point if you have big birds if you have big broilers and there's no sales what's the point if you're not smiling to the bank what's the point what's the point if you don't subscribe to get the next tip what's the point of watching this video what's the point what's the point